I have arrived in uh, Mallorca, so we're gonna go um, up the Trumantana Ridge, which is uh, uh, some uh, mountains on the northern side of the island. It's gonna be something like a six day walk and it's gonna be epic, I think. And we're staying now in uh, Port de Antrax, which is a bit of a luxury town um, that marks the start of the trail going further up. I've got a nice little hostel here, some kind of a hacienda going on and we're going in for some breakfast and then uh, we're gonna start the day. So it's promising to be a bit of a rain. Uh, this night it was raining quite heavily actually. You can see it looks a bit damp and moist around here. So uh, yeah, hopefully it's not going to be too intense. I didn't pack the big rain jacket, just uh, the, um, the thin one. So hopefully it's just going to be a dusting of rain. at the bridge is the starting point for uh, the Trumantrana, Trumantana trail that will take us from Port Dantrax to Polenza and it's about a uh, five, five to six day hike with about uh, 20 kilometers a day or something like that. Maybe you can put on 25, 30 as well and we'll be going up uh, these mountains up there and follow Follow the ridges all the way to the other side of the island. And uh, yeah, here it is, the start of the trail. First stop is St. Elms over the hills there. It's about a 10 kilometer walk to get there. We have now come out of Port Antrax and are heading up into the hills. So looking back, get to Port Antrax there. And now we leave the, the beaten path, or the highway, and the first climb through the wilderness starts. But we're now up at the top, and we're gonna go down the other side. So, it's quite a lot of erosion on the earth, so it was a bit of a, yeah, well, it wasn't hard, but it got your heart pumping a little bit. Get a distinct smell of goat in the air. It really smells like you're opening a fresh package of goat cheese. There's a lot of them hanging around here on the mountainside. The road is getting slightly dramatic here. I could feel a, a little drizzle coming down as well. I hope it doesn't pick up. But we are definitely heading down to St. Elms now. That was uh, quite the climb, to be honest. I think we reached the crest now, and this is what it looks like looking back at Port Dantrax. And it was kind of sweaty the whole thing, but it's uh, it's a nice breeze. And uh, going up these mountains as soon as 
First we're going down to St. Elms, take a break, and then we're going up these mountains to Ses Fontanelles. <laughs> Makes you wonder what's going on with these puddles. Kind of a weird... Is it algae or is it somebody just dumped sulfur? <laughs> Um, this is a, it looks a bit odd on the map um, or on the GPX coordinates. You're supposed to come down to uh, this place and then backtrack up, which was a bit confusing. But uh, this is the reason, because you get an amazing view of the Dragonera Island, and that would be St. Elms down there. So well worth just going, uh, going, going uh, down here to take a look. Stunning view, stunning view. So this would be the first little treacherous path here. We gotta find a way down to that path there by going around there somewhere. Well, so we came down down that way, found the, the path. Not that tricky, just a little bit left. We are now coming into St. Elms. Got a few, uh, uh, seen some goats and uh, some, some tiny farms. So we're now in St. Elms. Looks like another posh place. It looks pretty nice though. Yeah, it looks very empty. Guess it's because it's off season, still quite early in the year. This is uh, the center of St. Elms. What did you find there? A nice bench. Well, I have to say, that's not bad at all. Do, do, do. Whew. The worst climb yet, I have to say, it's uh, it's quite steep, and I'm so happy it's not hotter than, than this. It's like 12 degrees, and that's plenty in this scenario. going. It's rocky and quite steep and we're only halfway through. Whew, that was uh, one hell of a climb. It was almost a bit scary there for a while. You have to scramble to get up, up to the top here uh, and it, uh, it was a bit steep for a little bit but then you get rewarded with this kind of a view and it's pretty darn spectacular. Here. 
views are still amazing. There's been some rain. Hopefully it doesn't pick up. It's just a tiny drizzle and it's actually quite cold. But I think we reached the top now and we'll be heading down any, any second now. Whew. Well, we made it up to the top and looking down, yeah. It's quite the steep cliffs and over there we still have the Dragonera. So it's a pretty cool place. So we reached um, the viewpoint called Gramola. Uh, we got some picnic tables and things like that. So we can take a rest and think of uh, how to do with the rest of the day. It's been an epic walk. So this day has been absolutely magnif magnifico. And I hope to tomorrow is going to be great as well. It's uh, the next day, We're packing up our stuff, getting ready to move along. It was quite, quite a nice, nice sleep considering everything. Yeah, it's going to be a great day. <laughs> 